Hi everyone, my name is Sonia Farrell from Pets Portraits by Sonia Farrell. Um, I thought I'd just uh, walk you through a bit of the process that I go through when I am working on a pet portrait. Um, so I'm busy working on a pet portrait of Marley. Um, Marley's portrait was actually a, um, a prize from a recent uh, Mother's Day promotion. So it was a lot of fun. We went through the process of doing votes and competition and stuff. And uh, so there was only intended to be one um, prize, but in the end I did a second prize where we did a random draw. And Marley, as uh, Marley's portrait was actually the result of the random draw. So I'm very excited to be doing this uh, portrait uh, for Mel and um, she loves her pup Marley. And um, I thought I'd just go through the process because um, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, as a person that puts in a request for a custom pet portrait you don't may not know the process that we go through as an artist to prepare the artwork um, for you so um, the first thing that we do is we um, talk about the size of the canvas and um, get that all sorted out so uh, obviously in the case of Mel uh, she won this so this is um, all sorted out by the time she gets on board um, but if you were um, organizing like your own pet portrait, custom portrait for me to paint, um, we'll talk about size, uh, pricing, finish, all that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of that information on my website and if you need any uh, answers on that, just give me a shout. But uh, today was really just talking through the process. So the first thing we do is once you've decided on the size of the canvas, um, I um, prepare the canvas by doing a gesso layer on it. So gesso is like a primer a white primer that um, gets put onto the canvas which uh, just gives it uh, gives the paint a really good foundation on which to sit um, uh, once um, I'm starting to paint so um, yeah it's like with building a house or anything like that it's very important to get uh, all the basics right and that way uh, you know that um, you know you can give people the assurance that the painting is still going to look good uh, for many years to come and that was that's one uh, real key thing for me as an artist and running a business like uh, i want to be sure that you know um, your um, connection with the artwork stays nice and strong because you enjoy seeing it and that it looks good for a long time to come so i do issue like certificates of authenticity for the artworks that i do um, and as we go through the process, um, I'll just talk you through it as I'm busy um, doing this because, um, you know, sometimes uh, going through the process on my website, for example, can be a little bit confusing. So we choose colors uh, based on the pet's personality. So you tell me a little bit about your pet, um, you know, um, what they enjoy doing. Are they, yeah, do they have any special tricks or um, skills or behaviorisms that make you just love them all the more? So this is really about celebrating the things that you love about your pet. So uh, we, uh, I have like a little bit of a color category that helps um, define, uh, you know, your your color choices. So for example, with Marley, um, Mel has chosen uh, red and blue. So red being for passion and love because Marley is just so lovable and a very passionate little puppy, loves his mummy to bits, um, and blue because of loyalty and, a, you know, gives her a, a place to, where she finds um, nice, um, you know, love and assurance and calmness. Um, so um, um, Mel really um, has a great bond with her pup. Um, Marley's uh, like a care dog for uh, Mel, so that's really special. Um, that you know Marley absolutely loves her pup so it's such a privilege to do this so as um, as I'm finishing off on this primer I'll just go through so once you've chosen the colors um, you uh, send me photos so like between 3 and 15 even photos videos whatever um, uh, you fill in a form you tell me a bit a little bit about the pup age breed whatever um, and it's not only uh, dogs, it's cats, birds, guinea pigs, rabbits, fish. I've done uh, a few different types of portraits. Um, but in any case, so you tell me a little bit about the pup, choose colors, and then um, it's basically a period of about two to four weeks uh, before the artwork is finished. 
Um, during that process, you do get a chance to have a look at the artwork. So at about uh, what I would call uh, like an 80% level of completion, I would send you um, a, um, a couple of photos of the progress of the artwork so you can see how it's sort of progressed through the process. Um, and then you can give me some feedback, um, you know, if you feel the eyes aren't quite right or the mouth or, you know, just some minor things that we can still talk through. Um, I adjust those to suit your feedback and then um, I move the artwork up to around about like a 95% level of completion. We talk about canvas sides, so you can actually get the sides of the canvas done um, to suit um, your decor or the painting or um, whatever your preference is. You can even, some people even leave them white. So um, that's the next stage of the process. You have two chances to um, obviously uh, provide feedback. I take that into account, make some adjustments, and then uh, I basically propose that the picture is finished. Um, make sure there's no other um, elements that you just like want to sort out. And uh, once that's 100% done, uh, we get it um, to you. So the way the payments work, uh, usually for orders under $350, uh, it's a 20% deposit of the balance when the artwork is finished. Um, some people have paid like during that process just to not have to pay a lump sum right at the end. It's up to you, whatever works for you. But um, to get your artwork on my painting schedule, I do require a 20% deposit on the smaller work. So for the larger work, so any works above $350, I do require 50% deposit of the 50% at the end of the, the process. So that's really how it works. Um, once um, we agree that the painting's finished, uh, payment becomes due for the final payment and um, we get the artwork off to you. Um, so if you're local to the Gold Coast, we normally meet at a place like a coffee shop, um, sometimes I get to meet the pup or the cat or whatever so that's like I love that that to me is like the ultimate um, so I get to meet the, the pup and or the cat and uh, we we do the exchange you get the artwork and um, I let you have one <laughs> like you have a look, the look to, like this is it in real life um, I, that always makes you feel better once you've actually seen it um, and then um, yeah, and or if you're not local to the Gold Coast, then I'll pop it into the mail. Um, so the price includes postage and packaging. Um, so obviously, if you're local to the Gold Coast, it covers my petrol and, um, you know, uh, packaging it up nicely so it gets to you safely. So that's uh, sort of the long and the short of the process, really. Um, easy process, the payments of our credit card. Um, you could do um, payments over the phone. So there's, you know, payments are easy to sort out. If you feel that um, it's really hard to pay like the 20, 80, uh, 20 percent, 80 percent, um, some people pay the 20 percent and then just uh, pay, you know, every week they put five dollars in or ten dollars in and, and that way at the end of the process it's not even that much money to pay in. So I, I do try to keep my prices really low uh, and reasonable So because I, I enjoy the process as much as you do. I love to get to meet the, the, the pups and um, yeah, so there's different sizes. The size that I've just painted now is a 30 by 30. It's not a standard size. I normally do 25 by 30, which is like a portrait size. Um, I've got one up there, but I can't reach it. Um, so it's, yeah, it's uh, it's the size actually. Um, there we go. So that's the size um, that I normally do. Um, you can sort of see it to my body, um, waist to neck. So that's about the 30 centimeter to 25 centimeter. That's quite a popular size and I go up in sizes. So um, another popular size that I get uh, people asking for is a, uh, just bear with me a moment. Um, uh, is um, the 45 by 45. So here you can see again, so it goes from my waist almost to my mouth. That's like 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters. So really popular size. Uh, looks great on a wall, it's nice and there's room to actually, um, you know, zoom in on the, the face of the pup and or cat and or fish or and or horse. Um, so anything with like a long face, like I did a, um, a fox terrier the other day and we actually changed the canvas because they had ordered like a 45 by 45 and we ended going with like a 50 by uh, 40, which was a nice long uh, shape to suit. So if we were doing a horse, for example, we might go with that sort of size canvas um, and a horse you probably need to do 
like a nice nice size canvas anyway it's great to have a chat with you just to give you a little bit of an update on how um, we go through the process um, if you've got any questions just uh, contact me via my website um, or if if you see my telephone number, you're welcome to contact me. I, I'm happy to chat through any of the process as you see fit. Um, look forward to seeing you again. Um, all my artworks come with a certificate of authenticity because I use quality paints. I want to make sure that it looks great for years and years and years to come. So thank you very much for um, spending time with me and uh, finding out more about the process of having a pet portrait done by uh, Pets Portraits by Sonia Farrell, P-E-T-Z, Pets Portraits with by Sonia Farrell. Um, you can find me on social media, so Facebook and Instagram under Pets Portraits by Sonia Farrell. And also my website is www.allheartbysoniafarrell.com. So great to see you here. Love to hear more about your pup or your pet or your whatever animal you have. Um, and it would be great to catch up um, and, and have a chat with you. All good. Look after yourself. God bless. Bye.